All right, everyone, this is Narval Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. And at this time of the recording, I have about 1,820 subscribers. So I am getting very, very close to 2,000 subscribers. I hope that each and every one of you enjoyed my videos so far. I'm just trying to put out daily content as much as I can about the Florida State Seminoles. But I really do hope you enjoy everything, and I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel as we grow along. Uh, but I just want to kind of touch on a topic, a Florida State uh, transfer target that has been very, very highly regarded among the staff. And this is talking about Ventral Cypress. He is a cornerback from Virginia. Um, he is a junior, going to be coming a junior up front. And it's been one of those guys that's been very productive for Florida State going forward there. I mean, this is considered the number two cornerback uh, or even the number two ranked available transfer in the transfer portal as of right now, according to 247 Sports. And the defensive back, he's really kind of solidified himself as a lockdown cornerback. He was actually rated in some of his grades for the 13th best cornerback during the 2022 season, according to Pro Football Focus. He has an 87.8 overall grade. I know a lot of people, when they look at Pro Football Focus grades, they don't kind of understand the legitimacy of the Pro Football Focus grades, but an 87.8 overall grade is a very, very high one. He kind of showcased some improvement throughout his time at, with the Cavaliers. And I know Virginia is not the greatest program to base everything off of, especially in a coastal division that hasn't been very competitive. And in 2019, he had a 61.3 grade. In 2020, he had a 66.6. .6. And then last year, he had a 53.6. So he struggled last season, but he really redeemed himself this season. Now, a lot of people think that he is turning the corner in terms of being his uh, skill set in production. But you look at Adam Fuller. Uh, this is a situation where he's been running a 4-2-5. He's running a lot of defensive backs in and out of the lineup. And a lot of times those defensive backs need to be rotated, especially when you're losing a guy like Jamie Robinson potentially and also at Akeem Dent, who hasn't made his decision to come back in the 2023 season. A lot of people are talking about Jamie Robinson because he did accept the invite for the Reese Senior Bowl. And, of course, when you accept that invite, you can still back out, but it is a little bit harder with that. So it's kind of – showcasing his attention to being able to go to the NFL draft. I think he'll be around a late third, early fourth kind of guy. But, man, if you're able to get him back, I think that would be really big for Florida State. But just in terms of the defensive backfield room, uh, we actually had a recent departure uh, with DeMori Tate. He's a redshirt junior coming up this season, and he's actually elected to enter the transfer portal. So I wish him nothing but the best, and I always uh, thought he would be a great piece for this Florida State defensive backfield room. Unfortunately, his five-star rating really didn't prove up to what he was capable of doing. But I do think he is very, very talented in what he brings to the table. And I hope that a school kind of uh, looks at him and understands that he is a potential and, and very talented kid. But you look at the defensive backfield in the roster, you got Akeem Dent, who I said may be going to the NFL draft, maybe coming back, who knows just yet. Uh, Jerry and Jones is another guy, very good reserve. Renato Green as well, he was a capable starter this past season. Even on Jones, I think he could be a depth piece or he could be a fringe starter at that point too. I think he's, his skill set is kind of there to play the nickel or the outside corner. You got a guy like Travis Shea. Um, then you're looking at a greedy Vance, who I think is a very good slot cornerback as well. But Marion Cooper showed some flashes throughout his career at Florida State. Will he be able to turn around this season after having kind of a lackluster last season? Uh, Kevin Knowles, same thing. I think his skill set brings a lot to the table. Uh, he he has shown some flashes this this past season, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Shaheen Brown, who I think is a very good at safety. And then also you got Azaria Thomas at cornerback. The biggest uh, – Obstacle that everybody talks about is, you know, Sam McCall transferring out of the program. What does it do in terms of that? And uh, this is a situation where Florida State can really get turning itself over because you look at Florida State as we go, and Florida State's defense, you look at the defensive backfield, and you're wondering how every, everything can kind of go through. Florida State had the number one pass defense in the ACC, and then you turn around and have a guy like Cypress come in your lineup. That can be very big. Now, J.D. Pacquiao, he's actually an on-three uh, recruiting analyst that they have that does a lot of the YouTube videos. He talked about Cypress in one of his videos in terms of Florida State, and he talked about that Ventral Cypress is on a uh, visit right now at Florida State, and it sounds like it's the only visit he's taken before the dead period. That would be absolutely massive. And, you know, looking at just some of the guys that Florida State is going to be bringing in, they've already got three defensive back com uh, commits uh, in their 23 class with – Kenton Kirkland, you also got Jabril Riles, and also Quindarius Jones, who I think are all three talented uh, pieces. I think Riles is more along the lines of the cornerback position, and I think Quindarius and also Kirkland are two guys that I believe will be in the safety position as well. 
they're also kind of in consideration with four star Demari Brown, who is from the Fort Lauderdale area. Um, and I think he's a really talented guy as well. You got Conrad Hussey, the four star Penn State commit. We'll see how Miami and Florida State go in that battle. Um, with Demari Brown, I think Alabama, uh, Miami, and Florida State. I think he got Chris Ball recently to uh, Alabama. So that's kind of something to really watch out for there. Edwin Joseph, he's actually doing an uh, official visit this past weekend to Louisville. We'll see how that goes with everything going on with just the new coaching staff and seeing if Florida State can kind of close the deal with him. And then also with Devontae Brown, the UCF transfer, the older brother of Damari Brown. Um, so we'll see how that goes, too. He recently got crystal ball to Miami, so we'll see if that uh, kind of goes through. But you have to realize that his parents did play at Miami. I believe his, his uh, dad actually played at Miami. So it's just going to be something to consider. I mean, Florida State at the defensive backfield room, I actually talked about this in a recent video how would Florida State kind of handle the defense backfield room? And I think they can handle it very well. It's just a matter of time to see how Florida State can kind of piece everything together. But I'm just very excited to see how Florida State can kind of close. As of right now, with Cypress only visiting Florida State so far, I think Florida State sits in a very, very good position with a talented playmaker as he is. And I think Florida State can seal the deal with him in the next couple of weeks. But as always, I hope each and every one of you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave your thoughts, your comments, everything like that. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. About 86% of you are not subscribed that watch the videos. So it would do me a huge favor if you just click the subscribe button and just uh, continue to watch the videos. Click that bell to get notified every time I do a video and everything. I really appreciate all the love and support. And as always, go Gnomes.